Hello, Shalom, hola. Welcome to the Spiritual Life. I'm Mystic Travis Tidwell. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we are here in this podcast to enlighten you with spirituality and to help empower you. I, first of all, I want to thank my executive producer tonight because if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have this videotaped and podcast going, which is my daughter, Athena, who's also a priestess and sacred dragon, the little Reiki master healer. <clears throat> also a medium and a psychic herself. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. And um, everything here is powered by Sacred Dragon. And everything here is created by Yahweh. And whatever we do in this life, we give our divine source, the most high and supreme, the praise and glory for all that we have now and will have. Now, in my last episode, my last podcast, we were talking about... Um, coronavirus and putting your family or yourself in a circle of protection. Uh, it's unfortunate that I had uh, numbered the podcast episodes wrong. So this is <laughs> podcast um, number 14 is where I'm at right now. So my most recent obviously was 13 and that's should be the way that's also numbered. And uh, Definitely uh, 12 is where it starts on coronavirus, uh, podcast 12, where I'm giving you valid information that's going to help your body, mind, spirit. You're in quarantine. Everything on my pad podcast right now, I'm, I'm giving you the information. You can do it right there in your home. You don't have to sit in your house and be worried. You don't have to be just stuck in prayer. I love prayer, and don't get me wrong, we pray every day. I, I pray, I do these prayers from the old Dead Sea Scrolls. They're thousands of years old. They're beautiful. In my last podcast, I shared that prayer with everybody. And this, as, this is the spiritual life. I'm here to, to empower you. And the more knowledge you have about yourself and where you come from and who created you and the world you live in, that's where the power is going to be at. Now, tonight we're talking about orientation for Reiki. I'm going to be doing in my next podcast a... Um, exercise with everybody who tunes in to give you your first two levels of Reiki for free. Uh, I'm sure that we can do this over the internet. We can do this over the radio waves here. Uh, we can do it through YouTube because what I would ask you to do now is go to my YouTube channel, Travis Tidwell um, podcast and um, look at the diagrams that I have here and I will have to show you um, so you can look at them visually. In my last episode, we talked about uh, banishing protection pentagrams and also invoking, evoking pentagrams. And I had uh, a diagram uh, for the YouTube viewers. So if you're on Spotify, you're on iTunes, Pandora, and you're listening to this, uh, go to YouTube, Travis Tidwell Podcast. Also, I want to plug my album. And my executive producer is also, you know, she's the one who's got my music copyrighted. It's been distributed. It's on iTunes, Pandora, you know, Spotify. Um, and it's called Time Has Come by Travis Tidwell. And this is cutting edge music I put together with Prayers of Solomon. <coughs> Excuse me. It's all about old, old school magic for me. And I'm, I'm, I'm back to the center of knowledge and the center of worship and back to the center of energy, uh, which has brought me into the balance I have now. We're here, we're here to talk about Reiki, and uh, one thing I do know about Reiki is a universal life source. It's a uni universal life force. Um, I practice universal Reiki. Uh, I've attuned many, many people in this life. I've been doing Reiki for probably 25 years at this point in my life. As I said, my daughter is a Reiki master. Uh, I make Reiki masters all day long uh, and we know that initially this art of healing came from uh, Japan is where it re-entered into our society um, Japanese doctor which I, I wish I could pronounce his name properly I, I hate to insult him <laughs> uh, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment in in Sacred Dragon you know I, I have my own Reiki layout and uh, uh, Mar Marsha Braddock uh, 
is a great Reiki master. She's local here in Southern California, where I'm from. And um, she attuned uh, my master, my master teacher, and she's on the list of teachers who were attuned initially. So all of us right now are practicing Reiki, no matter what style it is. Uh, it, it all comes from this Japanese teacher, and, and, and so we're in a lineage right now of Reiki. And, and it's so sad because people have to make things so complicated. They tell us in magic in our spiritual life that when you have to use your left brain that much, your left brain that much, you're not going to create any magic. If you have to think about it that hard, if you have to, if it's that, that complex for you, it's not going to. Simplicity is the way to manifest your magic. Simplicity is the way to move energy. Everything here in this life has an energy. Now, I'm giving this free Reiki attunement and this exercise with everybody to help empower you while you're at home in this coronavirus quarantine. Um, you can start healing your physical body, your spiritual body. You can, uh, with level one and two, uh, send Reiki to people close to you. You're also going to find out in my next podcast who your Reiki level teachers are. Level one, level two, level three, they all have a teacher assigned to you with it. So you're going to get their names on the next podcast. I want you to be ready for this. I want you to have your pen and paper ready. Uh, you're going to copy some seals down if you go to, once you go to my podcast on YouTube. And you're going to get Reiki sized right here over the air. And, or, or through the video, either way you want to get it. And the proof will be when your hands, when you rub your palms together and they get on fire, they become warm. That's when you know you received your attunement. And uh, it'll be very, very interesting to see how this works. But because of the power of spirit, I know we can do this. Uh, this is quantum physics, baby. Anything's possible. When you, when you say this isn't going to work, then you've limited yourself. The world is flat. You know what I'm saying? When it's really not. Uh, Reiki is not rocket science. You know, I've, I've attuned people in a couple hours. You know, I, I haven't taken all week. And people who usually hang out in my circle of spirituality know their chakras. And they come to me kind of uh, equipped with the basic information. Now, if you don't know your chakras, before you go to my next podcast, study them up. You know, I'm not going to do everything for you. Uh, you have to put your own work into your own spirituality. But we do know we have a crown chakra, a third eye chakra, a throat chakra, a heart chakra, a solar plex chakra, a navel chakra, a root chakra, and you have your feet chakras. You also have your base chakra, which is on your spine. And that's where your kundalini energy is. Uh, so uh, hopefully you're familiar with those chakras. Uh, one of the things I, w I wanted to go over to uh, with you this th in this podcast about Reiki is that it exists around every living thing on this planet. It comes from the most high and, and supreme source. Even though I'm talking about there's different v varieties of Reiki, just like there's varieties of everything in this planet. Even Kabbalah has three different versions. You have the K, which is traditional. You have the C, which is Christianized. You have the Q, which is the mysticism, which is where I'm at because I'm a mystic. That's what I do for a living, 32 years now. Um, so it's very important that you're listening to your intuition as I'm talking to you uh, during these podcasts and you're resonating with your higher self. Uh, one, one of the ways we promote Reiki here, we say it's a spiritually guided universal life force energy that is powerful, gentle, and loving because it is. There is nothing negative at all in this. <clears throat> I, I feel that people who become... Uh, uh, insecure about being a Reiki master or insecure with their levels or I've never done these before or, <clears throat> you know, I just, <clears throat> I'm not sure I trained for this. The, there is, <clears throat> excuse me, there is no training. Uh, the, it's, it's experiences, your training. It's, 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 you're a conduit for spirit. It's not like you got a scalpel in your hand <laughs> and you're doing some kind of brain surgery on somebody. You're not, you know. You're rubbing your palm together. You're, you're activating your chakras in your hands. You're activating your crown chakra, your heart chakra, because everything you do flows to your heart chakra, which is love and healing. And you allow spirit to come through you to heal this person. And Reiki goes wherever it needs. We'll talk about different positions uh, for Reiki. 
but you know you have to use your higher self your intuition remember you have a higher self you have a lower self don't confuse them when you're listening to this episode get out of your emotional body and get into your rational mind with your intuition or your intellect or your solar plex vibration and you know like i said it flows wherever in your body that has a deficiency reiki's going to go there i also do psychic surgery i'm here in southern california so, you know, my email is Travis Tidwell podcast at gmail.com. Uh, if you give me an email, I'll tell you who your assigned angel is uh, so you can communicate directly with that angel. And uh, if you have taken my podcast, my next podcast, and you received your one and two level with me and your hands are activated, your palms are, uh, email me at Travis Tidwell podcast gmail.com. And I'll send you your uh, level one, two uh, Reiki master certificate. And that just that's just how that's going to work. Now, uh, you know, Reiki has no prejudice. There's nothing involved right with Reiki that's, that's just negative. It's, it's the purest form. It has its own intelligence, its spirit. It can never harm anybody or everything ever. It's not a religion, but it's older than any religion. It, it requires no faith or belief. It works. It works despite of disbelief because it's energy. And, you know, this isn't, Reiki isn't a net where you have to give up your old belief systems. I mean, if, if you're really somebody who's open to God and spirit and the Christ vibration, you'd be open for hands-on healing. Jesus was a healer. I mean, a lot of these people forget that we are sons and daughters of God. We're brother and sister to Jesus. We're gods and goddesses ourselves. But if you don't really start looking at your life in that way, and if you don't start looking yourself to be connected to God that way as a son or a daughter and a god or goddess, then you're blowing it. That's the consciousness you need to have right now in your life. And, you know, Reiki stays, the healing will stay with you for, for a long, long time. It enhances you in so many different ways. Uh, when you get it tuned, it's going to enhance you and it's going to be with you forever and it just evolves you, it heals you, it works on you. So when I, when I tune you, you're also going to be working on yourself. Um, it balances your body energy, uh, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual healings, accelerates personal growth and self-healing, sustains and nurses all living things. You can rake your car. We do Reiki in this house a lot. I've done more Reiki on myself for years. It's just incredible. Um, it just really opens up all your chakras. It really opens up your heart chakra because you're becoming a healer. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna heal yourself and, and heal other people. Heal your animals. You can heal plants. You can heal, you know, anything when it comes to Reiki. Uh, our, my greatest hope is to put Reiki around the world for free. Make everybody a Reiki master. We can just spend one day healing the earth, healing each other. And that's the truth. So even with coronavirus or things of this nature, Reiki emits an energy that can keep things out of your energy, your vibration, your aura. Could also just help again with your good luck in life. And Reiki has no limitations. Uh, things, things to remember is Reiki is transmitted through a practitioner healer who channels the energy into the receiver. It does not come from the healer, but from the universe to the healer. Thus, the healer cannot take credit for the healing. I can't even take credit for giving you this information. I'm just kidding. Sure I can. I'm here helping you. <laughs> um, and, a, again, it's going to do so much for you, you know. Um we, we talk about Reiki and the, the origin of Reiki here. There's, there's a few different stories. Uh, but this was, this, the one we, we, we use comes from uh, the mid-1800s. Dr. Mikayo Yasui was a minister in Japan. Uh, one day, his students asked him how Jesus and Buddha did their healings. Uh, not knowing the answer, he went on a long journey, pilgrimage, to find the answers to Buddha and to Jesus. Now, he visited the U.S., he studied Christianity, he took residence in a Zen Buddhist monastery. Um, he dedicated his life to his spiritual path and Buddhist writings he studied. 
He toured many temples in Japan, always asking the questions, found no answers. Eventually, <clears throat> in, a, in a small Buddhist monastery, monastery he discovered uh, some ancient Sanskrit writings uh, describing healing energy formula, but there was no information on how to activate the energy. So it's, it's just like when you look at the priestess card in tarot, the Torah is only half shown. So he was only half shown this information. Uh, and so he knew to gain more insight, he was going to have to fast and meditate. So he had 22 stones, and he went up on this mountain in Japan. Um, Koryama, I guess, is the mountain. 21 stones, 21 days. Um, he meditated. He fasted. He meditated. Nothing happened. And then finally, on his last day, these balls of light came to him and each one of his chakra with different symbols. And he knew then that these symbols were the key to activating this information and this energy. So he walked down after his 21 days. Uh, his, first, his first Reiki miracle was he bumped his toe and he touched it and healed it. <laughs> okay, true story. Um, his second miracle with Reiki was he had not eaten for, he, he didn't eat for 21 days. The, this lady brought him food. He ate it with no stomach ache, no problems. And she had a toothache, and he put his hands on her tooth, on her mouth, and the toothache went away. That was his third miracle. And that's when he knew that the symbols, <coughs> excuse me, and the information that he received was valid. One thing we know about information, people, if, it's, if it doesn't work, it's not valid. If it's not universal truth, it's n normally not valid. Now, again, I say that, and I do have a new philosophy, um, and it comes from the Kabbalah. I am Kabbalah-based. I'm Yahweh-based. Uh, but I do have a new philosophy, and I do believe that this philosophy I have now is here for you, us, through Sacred Dragon to empower us and bring us to the next level of consciousness so that we can prepare for the fifth dimension. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so connected to everything in this planet, it's crazy. We have a visitor tonight, though, on the podcast. It's my baby, Magic. And she's actually a temple cat from Egypt. She's beautiful. She's black and white. She's, she's with me in rituals. She's with me in healing. She's... She's the only cat I'm not allergic to, which is just crazy, which is another reason why we probably call her magic. But uh, we're talking Reiki tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So talking to Reiki, she wants to come up and give me some love. How sweet. Um, but, yeah, we're talking Reiki here tonight. And this is your orientation to Reiki. Uh, Reiki is going to help improve you in so many ways. Now, you know, once you become Reiki-sized, you know, you can rub your hands together, put your hands on a bottle of water, and charge it for healing. So now you have a power to use in so many different ways. You can Reiki your cats. You can Reiki your house. You can Reiki your car. But you can Reiki your water. You can also Reiki your crystals. Reiki is just another form of empowerment. And what they say is we all have Reiki in us. And these symbols I'm going to attune you with are going to activate this Reiki power within you, this universal force, and connect you. And you're going to start your spiritual path as a healer. Now, as always, I want to give this information in divine love, divine light, and divine trust to all of you out there who are listening to this or watching it. Again, my podcast is Travis Tibble Podcast on YouTube. Uh, my album is Time Has Come on Spotify, iTunes uh, by Travis Tidwell. I would appreciate your support. My email, Podcast gmail.com. Um, Contact me. Give me some information. What you want? Uh, if you have, excuse me. I'll give you information. Contact me if you need information, and I'll give it to you. You want to know who your angel is? Uh, we talked about that before. This is a good time for you to get some information. And also, too, my next podcast is giving one and two level Reiki to you. So get ready, and uh, I hope you enjoy this next podcast. And uh, may God bless you, your family, your pets, your family, your friends and the whole planet Earth right now. So be it. Amen. The time has come to be the rain.
Time has come for a change. 